subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this one, we are going to be looking at Zoom a video conferencing software program and in there we are going to be looking at how to enable live transcriptions especially useful for those people who are in meetings and are hard of hearing to help them read what a person is discussing in a specific meeting. There are going to be two parts to this video. The first part I'm going to look at as a host and how to as a host enable the feature and the second part of the video we'll be looking at it from an, the audience point of view and how as a an audience member how you can enable disable safe um, live transcriptions but also change some of the subtitle options within a meeting let's go so first and foremost as a host you need to open up your web browser i've got google chrome opened up here and within google chrome you need to type in the web address you need to go to which is zoom.us so i'm already on the website now from this website what you need to do you need to log in so you need to go to the sign in page here and once you click on the sign in page you need to put your credentials in like I've already done there and then click simply sign in there and once you have signed in your personal page will appear showing you your profile or your meetings in this case webinars recordings settings and you can um, change some of the settings here on the left side um, admin settings there so the one I want you to focus on within zoom once you've logged in is the one that says settings here just underneath recording so click on that once you've clicked on that it will open up a whole host of different options for you so you'll have a different tabs here five different tabs here meeting recording audio conferencing so on and so forth the tab I need you to make sure it has been selected is the one that says meeting here then from there on the left side here another little menu option will appear and then the one from there I need you to select is in meeting advanced what that will do it will open up a whole host of different options for you to um, enable and disable within zoom as a host so I am a host of a meeting and for my meetings as the host I want to enable the live transcription option so there's two options that you need to focus on for this closed captioning and the one underneath it save captions now for me I've already enabled these two options here so yours might show um, both options as disabled so all you simply need to do here for the closed captioning option make sure that's enabled and then this pop-up will appear and within this pop-up just click on enable here what that will do it will open up or expand three different options for you to enable disable there the ones I need you to enable for this is the last two checkboxes so allow viewing in full transcript in the meeting side panel allow live transcription service to transcribe meeting automatically you can also enable this one but for me for the purpose of this video I've got the bottom to enable then you, what you need to do is ensure that save captions section here has also been enabled here what this will essentially do it will allow the participants to save the captions or transcripts uh, following the meeting or during the meeting there so make sure these two have been enabled now what that means anytime you set up a new meeting um, live captioning will be enabled in your meeting so let's host a meeting so at the top right hand corner within the web browser host a meeting actually here or schedule a meeting actually I'm gonna go with schedule a meeting here there you go so I'm, I'm gonna call my meeting my meeting leave it as is then scroll down to find the option uh, for the live transcription in the options section here click on show there okay so in there you're just double checking um, obviously enabling or disabling different options once I'm happy um, that these options are correct for my meeting let me just change um, the timing yeah, I'll do four o'clock and then click on save there 
Now what that essentially does, it gives you an invite link um, to send to the people, the, um, to the participants who you want to join your meeting. So I'm going to just quickly copy that invitation because in the second part of this video, what I'm going to do is show you um, how as a participant, how to enable um, live transcriptions and disable live transcriptions. So that's the next part of this video. So now what you see is um, I'm in the meeting now. So I'm in the meeting at the moment as RA Solutions. So I am a participant to that meeting now. So the host has set up the meeting. Um, the host has sent the link to the participants. I've joined the meeting as a participant. Now what I can see as a participant now I've joined the meeting is at the bottom you can see the menu, the options here that you can access, enable, disable or whatever. Here you can see a live transcript option which has just appeared. So within that if I left click on the mouse button, so when this box appears what you need to do is focus on the second half of that box, the live transcript option. Now you can either leave that disabled as it is currently and allow participants to request the live transcription themselves when they're a participant within that meeting or as a host what you can do is enable auto transcription as soon as that meeting starts. And there are a couple of other options you can do as a host within um, within that box there but just for the purpose of this video for the live transcription option you can enable uh, that last checkbox you can enable disable allow participants to request live transcription or just enable it for everybody there so that's just very quickly showing you that now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on how to um, enable live transcription as a participant and how to change some of the transcription and subtitle settings within a Zoom meeting. So this is the second part of the video. Now this second part of the video what I'm going to do is show you as a participant. So what I've done, I've logged in, joined the meeting as a participant. Um, so in the first half of the video I as RA Solutions, I created the meeting, I set up live transcriptions. This, this part, I've joined that meeting as a participant. So as a participant, what you will see, because live transcriptions for that meeting have been enabled, at the bottom there will be an extra option which has appeared here, which is live transcript. So it's CC, closed caption, live transcript. So if I left click that with my mouse, I'm going to request that the host enable live transcription for the meeting. Request OK. And then as a host, I'm going to enable that request. So live transcription has been enabled for that meeting. Look here, it comes up with this bar here. So go back to the option live transcript, click on um, with the left mouse button. Now this three options which you see. Now before I go into the options you can see that it's writing down what I'm saying at the bottom here. So if I click on live transcript I can hide those subtitles. If I click that see what happens the subtitles will disappear so you can't see what you can't read what I'm saying. If I click on live transcript again show subtitle those will reappear now if I click on live transcript again, um, the subtitle settings will focus on this second option later. Subtitle settings here, you can change, it will open up this pop-up box and within that pop-up box you can make the font size bigger and notice how the font size um, increases there. If you can't really read because you can't see what's been said, you can make it smaller there. And there's different options you can choose from the bottom, which you can enable or disable within those settings there. So that's just quickly the subtitle settings. If I click, off, click on close there, go back to live transcript, and there's a view full transcript option there as well. If I click on that, 
on the right side it will tell you it will it will show you who said what in that meeting and at what time did they say that so for example at 3:52 i said this yeah 3:52 four seconds i said this so if there's quite a few people really useful if there's quite a few people in that meeting and you want to go back because somebody in that meeting said something really useful really powerful and really important you understand this and at the top there is a search box here search transcript so if you want to search for a specific topic you can do and it will show you i'm not going to do it now but it can show you um every word basically which consisted of that search string which you put in there so that's really useful there let me just hide it from the bottom hide um close full transcript so you're back into this mode here now this bar here which came up when I, en I enabled live transcription within the meeting as a host now you can see here live transcription closed caption has been enabled who can see this transcript if I click on that option there um, so it will show you the transcript from the meeting may be saved and shared with apps and other participants so on and so forth it just gives you a bit of information there which you may need so that's just a quick and easy way showing you how to enable and disable live transcripts in a meeting as a host and the second part I just showed you as a participant how to enable and disable live transcripts on the participants and and change some of the settings there i hope um, this video has helped please like subscribe and share